to its east. So watch as the eye of Fiona starts to kind of get sheared away, the northwest side of it. So it will decrease in intensity, but still, a Cat 3, a Cat 4, really going to have strong winds. So you have a hurricane warning for Bermuda. Here's how it's going to pass. By Friday into Saturday, it gets close to Nova Scotia. This is where it gets really interesting because Nova Scotia and Halifax could end up having this huge push of water, big time surge, and also very strong winds going into the weekend, tons of rain. And this is just one of so many areas that we are watching in the Atlantic. and Steve's hit there as we look for Steve to get to safety. Hurricane Ian has now officially made landfall in Florida just off Cayo Costa. It's kind of a barrier island that is due west of Fort Myers there. As it comes ashore now, the eye of the hurricane passing over the coast of Florida as we take this live shot, that live look at Naples. You can see the rest of the track here. This storm is aiming right for central Florida now over the next 24 to 48 hours. We'll then hit the southeast part of the United States. You can see the track, and there it is. Cape Coral right in the eye as we speak at this point. Significant storm. Again, a Category 4, but just a couple miles per hour wind gusts, sustained wind, rather, shy of a Category 5. I want to bring in now Todd Dunn, public information officer for Charlotte County, Florida, which is not far from where Ian has made landfall. Tell me what you're seeing now. Todd, what your biggest concerns are. Right now, our biggest concerns are uh, the wind. We're starting to get reports of damage from the wind and um, and the the surge that uh, is predicted that predicted to come in after this, you you know you guys were showing what our friends uh, and neighbors to the south are seeing, and that's expected to come uh, to our area. We're looking at um, preparing for eight to to uh, fourteen feet of of storm surge, and uh, so right now in the emergency operations center, uh, our planning is geared to okay, what's the next step? As soon as it's safe for our first responders to get back out there, our public works the department to get back out there, they're going to hit the, hit the streets and start clearing the, the debris and start doing a, a damage assessment and um, get into those folks who have been calling in and we've had to basically just kind of prioritize the list and with the plan of getting to them as soon as it's safe to get to.